On the 495th day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was mainly concentrated in these areas. On Bakhmut front, fighting is reported near Klishivka in the areas west of the town. Many sources reported today that the Russian troops left their positions in the open fields to reposition inside the forest area west of Klishivka. The Ukrainian army immediately began to hit the forest with artillery fire, preparing the area for the eventual attack with infantry and tank units. In this video posted today by the 22nd Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Army, a BM-21 Grad rocket launcher fires at the Russian positions inside the forest area west of Klishivka. The Ukrainian forces do not seem to be in a hurry, as they are most likely positioned in the fortified areas that they managed to capture just yesterday. According to reports by Ukrainian sources, the Ukrainian units are now regrouping and preparing to push east into the Russian positions inside of the forest. Ukrainian and Russian sources reported that the Ukrainian army has managed to push forward towards Kurdyumivka on the southern flank of the front. It seems that the Ukrainian assault units have managed to cross the Siversky Donetsk Canal here in an area that is currently said to be limited in extent, but that with the increase of the presence of the Ukrainian troops here could lead to the extension of their control in the areas north of Kurdyumivka. However, at the moment, the control over this area is not reported to be of a large scale, so we are waiting for more information to come from this part of the front line. On Donetsk front, heavy fighting continues in the direction of Avdivka. During the last 24 hours, it seems that the efforts of the Russian forces are mostly concentrated on the areas between Kamyanka and Kruta Balka. Despite the efforts made by both armies, the front line in this area is not reported to have changed. Meanwhile, in the northern part of the front line, yesterday I forgot to mention a small but important advance of the Ukrainian forces. During the last 24 hours, many sources have confirmed that three days ago, the Ukrainian forces organized a counterattack west of the Russian-controlled town of Krasnohorivka. As a result, the Russian forces have been pushed back from their previous positions near the railway to the outskirts of Krasnohorivka, and the Ukrainian forces have regained an area of about 3 square kilometers. What makes this an important news for Ukrainians is the fact that here passes the railway that connects Avdivka with the city of Pokrovsk, which is the main hub for the supply lines of the Ukrainian army in this part of the front. On the Zaporizhia front, Russian and Ukrainian sources reported today over an advance of the Ukrainian forces in the forest belts area, where it is said that most of the clashes between Russian and Ukrainian forces are taking place. As reported, the Ukrainian advance has been at least 300 meters towards the south. The movement of the Ukrainian forces seems to be slow but continuous, and if we look carefully at the map, we can see that if the Ukrainian forces manage to clear the forest belt area, they will be practically right next to the first buildings of Robotine. From the Russian perspective, their sources do not completely agree with each other, with a part of them affirming the advancement of Ukrainians and the other part reporting about a Russian counterattack that has, according to them, recovered parts of the territory they lost during the last 24 hours. In the Vremivka ledge, the activity of Ukrainian forces continues in areas west of Staromayorsk. Today, Russian sources said that since the presence of the Ukrainian units in this area was becoming a growing threat, the Russian command has decided to conduct airstrikes on this part of the front line. However, According to the same sources, the situation remains worrying for the Russians because, as reported, during the last two days, the Ukrainian command has sent more reinforcements to this part of the front line, thus increasing the chances for a new offensive to start here in the coming days. For the moment, we can say that the majority of the Ukrainian forces are likely taking a short break from major operations in this area, and they are working to strengthen the defensive positions along the territories that they took during the last week. That's all for today's video. Please don't forget to help the channel grow by liking the video and subscribing, and also for those who want to support the channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thank you.